Hey you guys, welcome to my table of three. My name is Carrie, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today I am participating in another collaboration. Since we're gearing up for the Super Bowl here in February, I am taking part in a collaboration called the Super Bowl of Super Bowls. So it's going to be about soups and one dish meals that you can make to help you celebrate your Super Bowl or even just make throughout the year that's easy clean up because hey, one bowl, who can beat that, right? Today's collaboration is hosted by the Ingrid Chronicles and Mama Friendly. I will put both of their links below in the description of this video as well as the playlist where you can go and check out all the other wonderful recipes of all the bloggers that are participating. Please, when you stop watching this video at the end, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked about the soup or if you've tried it. Also, jump over and say hi to all the other ladies in the playlist. We've worked hard to bring you these soups. And we are going to rewind just a little bit. And I made this soup earlier today before I got dressed for the day. So you're going to see some real mom life. And yeah, so it's ready to go over there. But I'm going to show you how I made it. And then we'll come back and show you how to finish it off. All right, so here is a look at our ingredients. I will zoom in and show you um, what all goes into our creamy ham and cauliflower soup, uh, which is just like a lower carb, um, healthier version mainly just a lower carb version of creamy ham and potato soup. Um, now there are in my ingredients that I normally put in my soup I have celery and you'll see that in the recipe that I put below but I don't have any today and I don't have any dehydrated celery left. I use the rest of it, the rest of it up. So I'm just going to use what I have today and I'll show you what that is. Alright so the first thing we have let's do our cauliflower Typically, I do a huge head of cauliflower, which you can get at Walmart Fresh or anything like that. But I don't know if you can see, but this thing is, it's tiny. And it was three bucks. And I weighed it and it was 15 ounces. Typically, I use one that's about almost two pounds uh, in this recipe. So today, I'll be subbing some of the frozen cauliflower. Just to give you an example, you know, frozen cauliflower was picked at its prime, flash frozen, or blanched and then flash frozen. So it's just as healthy for you as the fresh, but this was $3 in, for 15 ounces, and that is a dollar for 12 ounces. So we're gonna be throwing some of that in today. So that's a modification I'm doing today that you won't see in the um, recipe. So if you wanna use frozen, you totally can. Recipe calls for an onion chopped up. Today I'm just going to use the white onion that I have in my freezer already chopped up. I'm going to measure out some of those. Then you will need <clears throat> cream cheese, butter, heavy whipping cream, or double cream for someone that may be um, watching overseas. Um, in the UK, I think, I think you guys call that double cream. <clears throat> in the US or, or America, United States of America, we call it heavy cream. Um, a lot of times I use chicken broth. Today I have some pork broth that I canned back in 2020 and I'm going to use that today because after all we are using ham so I thought the pork broth would go well in there. Of course we're going to use the Instapot and I have a six quart uh, duo Instapot. And the ham today, sometimes I use the little cute ham that I have. Sometimes I've saved ham or have leftover ham in the freezer from the holidays but today I'm just using this Point, uh, bone in in cuts that I bought. It's the only thing I could find when I went shopping for ham for this recipe video collab. So, this is what we're going to use. I'm just going to chop that up and throw in about 8 to 10 ounces of this uh, when I cook. So, let me just give you a broad show of that really quick. Remember the link to the recipe is below. Now, let me show you how I throw it in and how easy this is. Guys, the first thing we're going to do is I have some butter melting in here. If you want to do dairy-free, uh, you could use coconut oil or avocado oil. I am going to put the equivalent in my Instapot. You can hear it sizzling because I have it on uh, saute. I'm going to put the equivalent into a chopped onion. Um, I didn't want to chop it today, so I'm taking the lazy route of using some onions that I had chopped in the freezer. So if you, if you use celery, like I'm having a recipe, I said earlier I don't have any, but you would put that in here as well. I'm also gonna put the seasonings in here. I'm gonna not put the salt because of the ham. Um, so we, 
I would wait to the end to salt if you're using ham, especially since I'm using my pork broth that I can myself. Um, in this, I am going to uh, hold off because I know I put salt in my broth. So depending on what you want to do, um, salt is real easy to get it from the ham and then you can adjust later. So I am just going to wilt these down just a little bit because they're frozen. You could saute them so that they were soft if you wanted to. But again, we are going to pressure cook this for about three to four minutes. So they would get done anyway. But So if you want to skip the saute step, you totally can. Alright. Alright, so we have those nice and they are getting soft. What you would do now, and just for the sake of the video, I'm going to skip the totally bringing them really soft. Since they were frozen, they're going to be softer anyway. So I'm going to show you what I do next. I, since this is a small head of cauliflower, if it was a larger one, I would cut it in half. Just take all the greenery off of it, take the hard stem out the middle, and then you could just cut it in half and put the whole head in there. But since this one is so sadly tiny, I'm just going to put the whole head in there. And then I mentioned earlier that because I want more um, cauliflower in here than just that 15 ounces, I'm going to put a couple bags of this frozen just right in. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that. And uh, these two bags are equivalent to 12 ounces, and then that was 15 ounces. So that puts you right at about 27, 28 ounces of cauliflower, which is a good... N <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I got distracted. I was having a glance outside my whole flock of chickens is running up like they're something's after them. So I had to make sure they were okay. <laughs> so anyway, there's my cauliflower. <clears throat> I'm going to... I diced up the ham and then I showed you those ham steaks. Um, but like you said, you can already, like I said earlier, you can go ahead and get those cubed hams. This is a great recipe to use um, for leftover ham at Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter or Pascha, any of that. So, um, great recipe to have. This is going to make a great soup at Super Bowl. If you want to have it on, you can just leave it in your Instant Pot, keep it hot, and people can ladle them up some. Um, as they want it, as you watch the game or the halftime. We don't really do a lot of football, really none, but hey, anytime you can have snacks, sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, so, so far we have everything in there, onions and ham, cauliflower, I'm going to pour some of the broth. Recipe calls for <clears throat> five to eight cups of broth. I am actually going to use, I just put five in there, probably what I will do <clears throat> is I will go ahead and leave it like that for now and I'm going to put my lid on okay make sure it's sealed and then I am going to turn it off and I'm going to pressure cook but now you only need to do this guys for about oh uh, I'm going to say three minutes three to four minutes and you want let's see let's do pressure high pressure three to four minutes and because this is not going to take, uh, we'll go ahead and do it for. This is not going to take very long at all. When it's done, I'm going to uh, instant release. So I'm going to move the valve carefully, carefully. Can't talk today because I'm in a hurry, guys. Over to venting, and we're going to let the steam uh, escape really fast. So do that carefully. And I'm going to come back when we're at that point and show you how I finish this off because it's really simple to do. All right, guys. So the Instant Pot has finished its four minutes. I did a quick release. I'm going to turn you around. While that was doing that, I um, got ready for the day. we got to go run some errands, do some dental appointments, and then come back and film another video for you guys on the cracker review, which you may have seen that. that came out a couple of days ago already before this video. So, yeah, busy morning. So, sorry about the rough way I looked earlier when I had put in <laughs> the soup together, but, hey, that's real mom life sometimes, and that's what it looks like. So, I'm going to turn you around and fin show you how I finish this soup. Now, one thing I will tell you, I'm going to add some more broth here. And there is an ingredient, which is cream cheese, two tablespoons or two ounces. Basically, what I did was blend mine up in my hot broth. Um, I added five cups before. I'm going to um, add another three or four cups of broth. This is three for a total of eight. And in order to keep the cream cheese from being lumpy in there, I always blend it in some stock and then pour it in there. So... I'm going to turn you around and show you what it looks like out of the Instapot when I released it and how I chopped up the cauliflower, okay? Let me turn around. Give me just a minute. All right. 
So this is what it looks like straight out of the Instant Pot. I just took the lid off and I just took my mixing chop from Pampered Chef and I just kind of chopped that big head up and look at that. Looks really good, doesn't it? So now what we're going to do is we're going to, it is um, all warm. I'm going to change it to saute. Let's do cancel. Saute. All right. So then I'm going to add the three cups of broth to make it eight total. And the two ounces or two tablespoons of cream cheese that I blended up in there. And you can totally leave that out if you want to. Um, you can still see some in there that's cream cheese that is still melting. But it will melt as the soup sets on warm while we go run our errands and come back with dinner. So the next thing I'm going to do also is pour in our half a cup of heavy cream. And this is the double cream. And at this point, you guys, you can... Um, taste it for our seasonings. I, I can tell you already, I tasted it earlier. It's going to need some more um, salt and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and add the pepper and a sprinkle of salt. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. Look at that. Doesn't it look amazing? It's just a lower carb vet. Um, version of the creamy ham and potato soup now this is uh, you know a little bit runnier and there's a little bit of the cream cheese you can see that will dissolve as it gets sits here on warm but it's okay if you get a little bit about the cream cheese but there is um the finished creamy ham and cauliflower soup we will serve this with crackers or if you're having a party you can just kind of have the cups or bowls sitting around and they can grab this while they're grabbing their other party foods and things like that. I'm going to turn you back around so that I can talk to you and you're not talking to... Let me do something really quick. There we go. Sorry. So yeah, so that's actually going to sit on warm for us while we do run some errands. My son has a dental appointment and then we'll be back and we'll have that for um, dinner tonight. So yeah, it's very simple. The recipe card that I linked to below will have your full nutritional facts if you like, if you count macros or if you'd like to know how many calories <clears throat> or fats in it. Like if you follow a certain type of diet, all that information is in the blog post and the recipe card that I'm gonna link to with my full recipe on it. I hope you guys have liked this recipe. I hope you enjoy it if you give it a try. I'm so appreciative of the two ladies that are hosting this collaboration for the Super Bowl of one pot, one soup bowl meals, and I'm glad to be a participant in that collaboration. So if you're new here, I hope you link me up on Instagram and that if you want to see more videos, you will subscribe and hit that bell notification. And of course, for all my loyal viewers, you know I love you. Thanks for coming by and I will see you guys in the next video.